The U.S. is no stranger to iconic architecture. The nation has a knack for innovation and has been a pioneer for ingenious engineering. From the new Amazon headquarters to a bullet train in Texas, on this episode of Built a Billion, we present to you America's most expensive mega projects right now. And stay till the end because you won't believe the price tag on the most expensive American mega project under construction today. If you love to hear about all the mega projects of the world, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Miami Double Decker Project The Miami Double Decker Project has an estimated cost of $840 million and should be completed by mid-2026. Its goal is to create better traffic flow between neighborhoods, which is very much needed in the congested city. There will be a two-tiered extension to the existing I-395 through Florida State Road and 95 that will add more lanes and separate connector ramps to decrease congestion. But a new highway upgrade isn't the only gift Miami will be receiving. The project also includes a 1,025-foot-high bridge that will act as a connector between suburbs through a railway, pedestrian path, and bike lanes. A community area will also be built under the bridge that will include an amphitheater, play area, and public parks. Sanborn Solar Power Facility The Sanborn Solar Power and Battery Energy Storage Plant is located in California on a plot of land leased from the Edwards Air Force Base. In 2022, the project cost exceeded $950 million for over 2.5 million photovoltaic solar cells and over 100,000 batteries. The project is split into two phases set to end quarter three of 2023, and the first phase, first financed in 2021, is now functional. It provides 345 megawatts to the grid and holds 1,590 megawatt hours of battery storage. The end result will be clean energy for 164,000 households and 320,000 tons of carbon dioxide will be offset from the atmosphere annually. The renewable energy company TerraGen was scheduled to complete the second phase of solar panels at the end of 2022 and complete the battery storage by 2023. Tunnel and Reservoir Plan Chicago has one of the biggest mega projects in the world right now with its Tunnel and Reservoir Plan. The project aims to reduce flooding and clean up its waterways with a series of large diameter tunnels and vast reservoirs. The project collects and stores combined stormwater and sewage that would otherwise overflow from sewers into waterways during rain, then is pumped to plants to be cleaned and released. The project was first commissioned in the 1970s and was expected to be completed in the 80s. But there was a tiny delay of oh, just over 50 years and the completion date is now 2029. And the entire project has a price tag of $4 billion. Amazon HQ2 Jeff Bezos isn't running the show anymore, but the show must go on. So, Amazon's new corporate headquarters is under construction in Arlington, Virginia. HQ2 was announced in September 2017, and the design has been released. The new spot will host 2.8 million square feet of office space and 2.5 acres of public space, with the centerpiece of the property being the Helix, a 350-foot-tall glass structure. The Helix will include tree-covered walking trails for employees to walk through and will be just one of the buildings that make up the new headquarters. Amazon has its eyes set on being extremely sustainable, with a goal of being 100% dependent on renewable energy, which is also part of its pledge to be net zero carbon across its operations by 2040. The total cost of this mega project is estimated to be $5 billion. Lincoln Yards, Chicago Back to Chicago for its highly ambitious real estate development project, Lincoln Yards. It's being built in the Chicago River, just west of Lincoln Park, for $6 billion. But before the project even began, the developers carried out a $10 billion cleanup at the site, which was formerly industrial land. 
It's a mixed-use neighborhood with office, residential, and hotel towers to go with restaurants, retail, and entertainment spaces. There will also be skyscrapers from 700 to 800 feet tall, new roads and bridges, and multiple green spaces. The Lincoln Yards project will hopefully create 20,000 jobs and be completed by 2024, making it a must-visit spot for the city of Chicago. LaGuardia Redevelopment LaGuardia Airport has had a bad rep until recently. There had been reports of leaky ceilings, faulty escalators, subpar toilets, and obvious degradation. Six years and eight billion dollars later, LaGuardia now has a state-of-the-art central terminal with 35 gates, retail outlets, two steel sky bridges, and features two concourses. It's 85% bigger than its replacement and will also feature restaurants and a huge parking facility. The Terminal B of the airport also underwent a complete makeover to now feature an environmentally conservative concept, achieving 43% water efficiency and saving 18% in energy costs. In addition, Terminal C has been remodeled and is now open to rave reviews. The bulk of construction was funded by Delta Airlines and was completed by mid-2022. Texas Bullet Rail the Texas Bullet Rail is a speed rail between Fort Worth and Houston and will utilize the technology of the famous Japanese Shinkansen Rail Line in its construction. This project, estimated to be completed by 2026, will cost a whopping $16 billion, all to make sure the train can travel its journey in under 90 minutes. The ultimate aim is to reduce carbon emissions along the I-45 highway which is also the second most dangerous road in the United States. The project seems promising but has received criticism in regards to safety, and landowners wish to seek legal action for their properties being seized to build the railway. Currently, however, financing is being taken care of, and Texas Central, who was behind the project, says everything will continue. Samsung Chip Factory, Texas this last mega project on our list is brought to you by Samsung. Literally, they're building a $17 billion semiconductor chip factory in Texas to be spread across 1,235 acres. The factory will manufacture semiconductors, which are an essential piece of mobile phones and computers. The site is expected to be completed in 2024 and is considered an important addition to the U.S. economy, seeing as though there are no major semiconductor hubs in the states. But semiconductors aren't the only thing going on here. The facility will also conduct research on artificial intelligence, 5G communication, and high-performance computing. This latest extension to the Samsung workforce aims to add 2,000 more people to its team of 20,000. But get this. Samsung intends to build 11 more chip building facilities in Texas that will cost a total investment of $192 billion. Now that's a lot of semiconducting. What do you think about these expensive American mega projects? Let me know in the comments below. I've done another video on American upcoming mega projects and that should be on the screen. So click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.